Hi everyone, welcome back. I missed you guys. I was away in Los Angeles for uh, the past five days, so this is the first time I'm sitting down and recording in probably about a week, which is, it just feels good to be back, you know? So for today's video, we are going to review this, uh, the Moda Prismatic Four Piece Face Perfecting Kit. And I picked this up at Walmart. I just, it was totally random. I was browsing the makeup aisle and I saw this set. And I've never tried any kind of face brushes. This was about $16. I'll put all the info in the description box if you want to, you know, order it, read more about it, all that jazz. And I was like, shoot, why not just try this out and see how it works? So, um, you know, I think about a few years ago, the Artiste brush collection was big and trending, but it's hella, hella, hella expensive, like unreasonably expensive. And since then, a lot of brush companies have come out with these facial brushes. So I just figured, you know, for something that's, you know, reasonable, $16 for four brushes, you know, let's just try it out and see if it's worth it, worth your coins. Um, it is easily accessible because if you're in the States at least, if you got a Walmart, I'm pretty sure you'll find it unless it's sold out. Sometimes that happens. But anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. <laughs> I'm gonna get closer to the camera and we're gonna try this out with foundation, with concealer, and also with cream contour products to see how these blend out and what my makeup is gonna look like. Cross my fingers that I'm not gonna be a hot mess, uh, but sometimes that's a risk. <laughs> so here are the brushes when you take them out of the little packaging. First off, I mean, it's really, really cute. It's got the little unicorn kind of colors when you look at them from the side. And the packaging is obviously plastic, but it's not like super cheap looking or flimsy. They feel sturdy like you're gonna be able to use them for a while. Now this brush here, right here, this is more for liquid foundation products. And they say that you can move the brush in one fluid motion, so I'm guessing like this, and easily cover, you know, blemishes, whatever you need to do with your foundation. This brush here, this is ideal for bronzer application and blush application. Now it doesn't really say whether it's only for liquid or powder, so you know, we're gonna just see. See what I've got in my collection, what we can test it out with. This one here is for blending out contour under your cheekbones, so right along this area. And this one I feel like I really have high hopes for because that would just be really great if I didn't have to use my beauty blender for cream contour so I have high hopes and this teeny little brush here this is supposed to be for um, blending out any concealer and like more precise areas around your eye or makeup under the eye so if you're doing a liner or something like that you can really really get in there with this one so now to give you guys a heads up I've already primed my face um, I use the Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base all over my face and on my t-zone I use the Smashbox photo finish primer just to keep any oiliness in check but I wanted to go ahead and skip over that because you know you don't really need to see that for this video <laughs> all that matters is the actual application okay so I'm gonna be using my Maybelline matte and poreless and this is the shade coconut I'm just using this because it's cheap it's affordable I know a lot of you guys have this so that way it's a really good comparison to see if it's gonna work with something that you already use so I don't even know really how to apply this if I put this on the brush we're gonna test that out first maybe on half my face so that I don't look crazy but I'm just gonna go ahead and pour a little bit on there that's what it looks like right there I'm just gonna be depositing it on there because I don't want excessive amounts of foundation all over my face when I don't really need it you know okay now let's blend So, so far, I mean, I'm finding out that it does 
spread very nicely across the face. Looks really beautiful actually. Let me go ahead and finish the rest of my face. Okay, so after the foundation application, it went really smoothly, which I'm very surprised. And I feel like, you know, obviously I haven't added anything else to my face. Um, it does look really nice, really smooth. The brush feels super smooth on the face too. It feels like you're getting a nice facial massage. Now I'm really glad that they did include this smaller brush here because I do feel the need to use a smaller brush to get in around the crevices around my eyes, which makes sense to me because obviously this is a very large foundation brush. So let me go ahead and do touch-ups around my eyes. Now I'm going to apply my Tarte Shape Tape as concealer, and I'm actually going in with this brush, the 803, because I feel like it'd probably be best for blending that out. And then if I need to get more precise, I'll use this little teeny one. I feel like this concealer just, it never does me wrong. It's always like my fallback. I mean, you guys know, I review a lot, I have a lot that I like, but this one just, it's super bomb. It's interesting because this brush doesn't actually soak up a lot of the product I'm finding that it's a lot more full coverage than I thought it was gonna be which I don't know it doesn't really look blended you guys I'm gonna switch to my beauty blender for this one cuz uh, it just looks a mess you know I think probably for blending out concealers your beauty blender is your best bet because it needs to soak up just a little bit or you use very sparing amounts of concealer so that way it just looks more natural you know but see it looks it looks lovely now let me go in around my eyes with this one okay so real quick I'm gonna go set my face and then I'll be right back so we can continue testing out the rest of the brushes now it says that the 802 is for applying blush or bronzer so let's see what it looks like with cream first um, I'm just gonna go into my little black radiance kit so that way you know it's nice and affordable if this messes up I won't be too sad <laughs> oh this is actually really nice it looks super natural, like almost like better than a beauty blender, I think. And I'm only getting a little bit. I'm not going like ham on the bronzer, just so you guys know. Looks really nice, nice and soft. I'm impressed with this one. And there we go on that cream contour. Ooh, honey, she looks good. I really like it. It really makes the cream contour look nice and subtle. So if you're interested in like a super harsh contour look, then nah, -uh, it's not gonna be for you. It's super soft and natural. But now, of course, we've gotta test it out with powder. So I'm going into the powder side and I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that it looks just as beautiful. Okay, so it's a little bit darker, it's a little bit darker. I think I just need to pick up less product but it still looks really, really nice. Now I'm gonna use this smaller brush. I've wiped off the old concealer and just blend this out a little bit more. And I'm using it to brush upwards and it actually does blend it out really nicely. Now for my blush, I still really want to try this one out, so I'm going to wipe some of the product just off of here and see what it looks like. So I noticed that when you're using just a regular paper towel to remove any excess, the product comes off really easily and what I like about this 802 brush in particular is that it doesn't actually pick up a lot of product because I think it's for bronzer and blush application. So that's really nice. It's just easy to clean off. You don't have to go like, you know, wash it in the sink or anything. So I'm using my NARS Dolce Vita blush and I'm gonna just put that in there. All right, let's just hope. Oh. Hmm. I don't really think very much of it's coming off. 
you know what I'm gonna do you guys because I know this blush isn't highly pigmented I'm gonna switch to a more pigmented one and then see if it actually is coming off is it just me if I just can't see it you know we gotta make sure this isn't just some fluke so this right here is the black radiance uh, it's their baked blush in toasted almond and I'm just gonna add that on there looks like there's a decent amount okay I do I saw a hint there but honestly I think you could skip out on this for a blush it just doesn't seem to deposit it it picks up the product but it doesn't deposit it so I'm just gonna use a normal brush here for the sake of time you know and now you can see it more and it looks super natural with the brush of course I just like was not seeing any type of product deposit. It's very, very strange. Okay, so I'm gonna go off camera, finish up the rest of my makeup, and then we're gonna talk more about these products in detail. Okay, so now that I've had a chance to use all four of these bad boys, you know, I really like them. Um, I'm very surprised because I kind of thought they were a little bit gimmicky and that I wasn't going to like them at all. First of all, this big brush here really blended out my foundation flawlessly. I mean, look at this, you guys. Like, I did not go over it with a beauty blender, with a brush, anything. This is just this little facial brush. I found that when you're holding it and applying it, it's really good to put your actual finger behind here, and that way it'll reinforce the brush so that, you know, it's not like, I feel like you just have more control when you put your finger here as opposed to just letting it like wobble around. So that's, you know, totally fine. And I find that they're really easy to clean, and I just like that, look at this, like, it's cute. If you're somebody that has a vanity and you just like having a nice little area, these brushes are super cute to display. Obviously, if you're going to display them, you want to keep them nice and clean. Um, but as far as use, the foundation brush was great. Now, for something like this, the little 802, I really liked the way that it applied contour. I thought it was amazing with the bronzer. I really liked it more for the cream than the powder. The powder was fine. It just applied a little bit more intensely. So that's something that you have to remember, literally just like with powder, put it in there and that's it, you know, that's all you got to do. But with the cream, it just deposited it so nice. It looks so natural, which is what I love. Now the next one here, I really like this for just if you need to do any more precise blending with your cream bronzer. As far as, you know, concealer, I mean, obviously no. <laughs> This actually isn't meant for concealer. I just kind of wanted to test and see if I could blend this out if we needed a beauty blender at all. But it turns out you do need a beauty blender. So this is not for concealer, just for cream bronzer. <laughs> also, this tiny little one, I really like that you can get in those nooks and crannies. Sometimes I forget to blend around where my tear duct over here is in my inner corner. So it's really nice to just have something and I feel like it looks a little bit more effortlessly, you know, up close. One thing that I do want to talk about as far as applying blush with this one, I mean, obviously they say that you can do that with powder blush. I just feel like it's going to pick up the product, but it's not going to deposit the way it needs to be. Maybe on somebody who has super fair skin, you can actually see it. But for me, I mean, I was like, where? Like, where is the blush? <laughs> all in all, I think for $16, I would think it's a bad price for the product. Um, given that, you know, you can just find it anywhere in Walmart and all that which is really nice and convenient. You don't have to order it online unless maybe you live overseas and Moda products are hard to find for you. But I really like it. I feel like this kit is very practical and you have four brushes and multiple uses for different brushes. So it gets like two thumbs up from me. If you wanna try it out, try it out. Uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed as long as you're prepared to know the uses and I really like that on the back of the little kit they tell you what you can use the products for which means if you're somebody that's forgetful like me you probably have to keep the packaging or you have to write it down or take a picture in your phone somewhere <laughs> I kind of wish they gave like an insert instead but 
that's okay. For the price, you can't beat it. So let me know what you guys thought about this uh, and down in the comment section. Y'all know I always want to know your thoughts. And let me know what videos do you guys want to see? What products do you want guys want to see that just launched? I have a whole list of ideas, but I want to do things that you guys also enjoy as well. And don't forget to check out my beauty products reviews playlist if you haven't already. There are some really good reviews for some cool things and product comparisons where I pit one against the other. You'll really like it. All right. Well, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.